everybody, welcome back to this Top Garage. So as you may notice behind me here, we have all the equipment. So what we have today um, is our walk behind, farm all, and our dump trailer. Uh, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, mainly the mower, because everyone else knows all the other equipment, but um, real quick update for everybody. The leaf vacuum um, job, as you can tell by my last video, did not go as planned. Uh, the reason I said you tell my last video, my last video was not at all about the vacuum. So, I'm going to do a, a video just on that for everybody. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. The kind of thing I may not. Let's just put it this way. It didn't work out. We ended up buying a new vacuum. So, I'll show that to you all in another video. Um, but today, we got the Troy Built Wide Cut. Uh, this is the mower, which I'm not sure if I told everybody. I got this thing for free off of Craigslist. And everyone says, free stuff is junk. Not all the time. The blades need replaced. Um, they cut. But one of them got cut up a little bit too much. Um, the edge of it got snapped off a little bit. So it's a little bit wobbly, no big deal. Um, and I think it needs a couple of little things. It looks kind of rough, but it is really no big deal. Now this tire is a little bit squishy. This one, a little bit squishy. But for what I'm doing, I need all the traction I can get, which is the nice thing about squishy tires, which you probably saw behind me on just a Let me clean the camera lens off. So anyway, um, some of you may know this back in here. Um, back here is a little used to be enclosed area um pretty much this hedge is the fence line but anyway a lot of you may know that this back here used to be just all closed in with all the brush uh, we ended up putting this little opening here um uh, right here kept the cut out um but then i started to let it grow back up to form a fence to kind of surround this i started expanding into there which i never showed anybody i made a video but i ended up not posting it we put a gate up here at this end it was really going well then the power company came through with a bunch of people and instead of doing what they did last time which is how we got this like it is they came through the big old tractor and mowed everything well this time they brought a bunch of guys with sprayers and just sprayed everything being dead stuff standing it been dead stuff chopped up we had to rake it up which is pretty much actually to give you an idea um what this is here this is all what would normally be left behind is chunks of stuff like this um yeah, I think that needs to be pulled up, whatever. But chunk stuff like this would normally just left. But this time, they didn't. They just left it all standing. So I'm going to do, for the power company too, actually, um, I'm going to get this gate cleared up so they can use it again. Now, I can't go to that side of the gate that I know of to clean it up just a little bit. You know, like even a foot. That's not our property. But I would like to get cleared up for them to use it. So I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the camera up. On time lapse now i'm gonna take the troy belt and cut through here now all y'all gonna say that you know that's a walk behind mower and it does burn oil by the way but that's a walk behind oil uh oil mower um you know it's good for mowing grass it's not good for mowing anything like this stuff like you see here it's chopped up you know it's and you know this stuff that's standing it's not going to do that kind of chopping it's just going to be this stuff standing um and to answer that question we're going to do it and i'm going to tell you that did this i did this yesterday which is why i'm making this video today i didn't know if it was gonna cut i came down here just to mow in the grass section i figured shoot give it a shot and i started pushing it in here and uh, as you'll see by watching me um the little trick i learned is to push it in a little ways knock everything down and then put it in reverse back it out and it'll push everything up into the deck and chop it and then you go back forward depending on what's in front of you you might want to push down let the front of it up in the air and then drop it slowly down on something which i'm going to have to do which i'll I don't know. I'm probably not going to show this part on camera because I'm still not sure how I'm going to do this yet. This little pine tree needs trimmed up, so um, it needs to be gone. So I'm going to do is push it over, and I'm going to try cutting it up. But <clears throat> I'm going to wait till I get a bunch of this stuff done. Now a lot of the stuff I can't cut. You know, something I'm going to have to use the snippers for, to chop it down, and get it out of my way. But majority of the stuff's just thicker bushes. I do have to watch out for rocks, which I did check real quick. I'm going to check again. The only rocks I see were over in here, right here and i can go up to the rocks so it's no big deal so yeah and i did raise the mower deck up i think it's all the way i mean it's may not quite but you can see what it leaves behind it's short enough i mean it's not like you can't see what's on the ground like a snake or something so hopefully we don't run into any snakes um and hopefully we can get it chopped up so i'm gonna set you all up in time lapse and let's get to it
everybody. So, uh, it's getting a little bit cold out here, and it's getting windy. But I had the wind thing uh, turned on with my camera. Anyway, uh, so there's some stuff here I can't push through. Um, I actually, if you notice, if the camera picked it up, I'm not sure if it did. I got stuck over here, and I found out why. The fence is still here. Now, I wasn't able to push these thorns over, but I got to cut this little tree out the way. So I'm going to cut this down and chop it up, uh, I think. And I got to chop some of this stuff up. I might be able to push this tree over. Uh, I pushed up to the rocks. Some of the stuff is just going to push, but it's no big deal. It's fine for me. Um, here I got to push up some more. It does look like the fence is missing here. So it is still missing in some places. This I might be able to mow over. I'm not sure. Um, here shouldn't be hard at all. There's a rock right there. No big deal. I don't plan on hitting that little spot. Uh, so, anyone ever tells you that you walk behind mower, can't cut brush, well, maybe you can't. But there's only one way to find out. Um, now, I didn't push over some of the stuff. This is some of the stuff I had pushed over with the bulldozer blade a while back. Um, well, not really a bulldozer. On the, one of the garden directions, I pushed this stuff over. But it did mow up this stuff. And as you saw in the time lapse, it mowed this up. And I think I made some very good progress. Um, I probably will cut this out. I might see if I can just like clean it up. I'm probably gonna cut it out. This pine tree is getting cut out. Um, this stuff here is getting cut out. I'm gonna cut it out. And then when I get it done, I'm gonna see if I can get this gate cleaned up. And, uh, well, get it working. Um, but I'm gonna stop recording now so I can finish up. It's getting cold, so I might go take a little break. Uh, probably not. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching Jason's Top Garage. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm just a little bit brush cutting. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time on Jason's Top Garage.